Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a new plant, a very beautiful and rare euphorbia that is known as Euphorbia Cape St. Mariensis. Cape Mariensis is a very rare and very sometime unknown that many people don't know about it is indigenous to Madagascar uh, is a family of the uh, Euphorbia CIA and the genus Euphorbia and a species known as Euphorbia Cape St. Mariensis it is very similar and identical to Euphorbia decariae and Franscosi, as you see here. And Anvabobensis. They are very similar, except here and there, there are some sort of differences on the Cape Sarmariensis, you see the leaves are more uh, longer and narrow with a yellow flower. But on the other variety of this uh, Euphorbia, such as the Francoisi, right here, and Vivobenses and Dicriae, the leaves are having a different structure. Sometimes a little larger, sometimes it's a different color, sometimes it's more narrow, and on Euphorbia, uh, Dicriae is a very crowded and narrow, which I'm going to show you right here. This is Euphorbia Dicriae. So, uh, Technically, they are all from one family, but they have a differences. They all codexiform, but our focus today is on this particular variety known as Euphorbia Cape St. Mariensis. As I have mentioned, what distinguish this plant from other euphorbias is the being a very narrow and wrinkly leaves but sometimes when they are in the good soil system or a nice place or a place that they like the leaves gets a little bit wider but generally always is like that Another thing that is distinguished this plant from other euphorbia that the color of the trunk of this euphorbia is very much white color or light gray. Other euphorbias possibly has a different color trunks as you see and the leaves also sometimes gets more chocolate color. See? The color of the trunk is different. This is Euphorbia de Creae that I have posted a video about it. Video number, the number is up here on the screen and also this one is another Euphorbia Anvivobensis that here you see the seedling of the same plant that technically has a very beautiful codex. So I have posted a video about this one and also recently, a few weeks ago, I have posted one from this particular euphorbia known as Francozi. However, please refer to these videos and get more information about this few plus other refurbias that I have posted. 
the Kelly Henry Bobensis, and Fran Cozy. Cape San Mariensis is a euphorbia that grows in the Madagascar. It's a, one of the very beautiful codexy form that it grows on the primary desert area of the Madagascar. These are euphorbias are from one family. This particular euphorbia likes to grow in a very high drainage uh, soil system. So you have to add extra pumice to your pit moss and make it more drainage and also between the watering you should let it completely dry out this plant cannot handle the frost especially if it is wet so in the winter time it has to be in a warm area and also very, very small amount of water or perhaps none. And never put them in a direct sun because the direct sun will damage this plant. Method of propagation on this plant generally is a cutting. So you cut a branch like this. Or you pollinate. You pollinate this flowers and you get a seed. I have pollinated these ones and I think there is one of them is getting a seed to me right here. As you see the plant has been pollinated and the seeds start appearing. So I recap the whole thing. The method of propagation is cutting seed or perhaps the leaf. You can use one leaf and let it root and put it in the soil. Euphorbia cap San Mariensis makes a very beautiful bonsai. If you place it in a very shallow pot like this and let it grow throughout the years, it will be very, very gorgeous and exotic looking. The harvesting seed in this plant should always happen during the late spring. That is the time that the seeds are ripe and ready to be picked. Fertilization of this plant technically has to be balanced. One of the very good things that this plant enjoys to have is a high on potassium. I generally use fertilizer known as 20-20-20 as I have said on my other videos, one teaspoon per gallon of water. Sometimes you can dissolve in the middle of the spring or late spring, one teaspoon of the potassium into the gallon of water and feed this plant. That makes this plant to grow better and bloom nicer. One of the good things about this plant that it is very important that you cut off these branches that is dead. That will contribute to the growth of this plant. This plant needs to be repotted every two years with a nice fresh soil and always add a little bit of the slow release to your soil. 
all together this is all about this particular euphorbia and uh, there is not much of the data that I can provide they are practically all similar they all codexiform, they all having the same type of shape and they like the same type of fertilizer they do not enjoy water during the winter time and they like to be on a dry side in the winter time and nice good bright light but not a direct sun I hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you very much for watching my video please like my video leave me a comment share my video with your friends and relatives and also subscribe to my channel thank you and have a wonderful day until next video